Hi, this is Caitlin Trouton with Area TV, and I'm here with Stuart Penn, CG supervisor at Framestore, who worked on the Academy Award-winning film Gravity. Um, I just watched a very interesting presentation that he gave on the show floor, and some of the things that really stood out to me were um, how much planning went into this three-year project. Could you talk about the importance of planning and pre-visualization? I think without, without the um, planning, this wouldn't work. So we couldn't have done it without the level of previs that we put into it. We previs and the entire movie, basically we built an entire CG movie before we shot anything. And how unusual is that to do something like that? It's pretty unusual. I mean, people do previs, but it's usually it's a guide for shooting rather than uh, this is what we're going to shoot and that's it. Yeah. yeah, that's really fascinating. I bet for the actors and for all of the camera crew and everything that kind of came after pre-visualization, they had to stay very close to the plan that you guys came up with. Yeah, they did. I mean, we had to build in a little bit of flexibility to allow the, for the performance of the actors so we could get the best out of their performances. But the actual camera moves, they couldn't really change much from the previous to the final movie. And what, you used Autodesk Maya as a previous yeah. tool, as your main tool, and actually in the post-production. Why is Auto, Autodesk Maya your primary tool for this kind of project? Well, uh, Maya's uh, core pipeline is built around Maya. Uh, we have built a lot of tools, a lot of plugins to extend its capabilities. Um, we have our, our own proprietary data formats and our own solvers for additional effects work. We need something that's unified and that you can extend and plug other things into so that all sides of the pipeline are using one tool rather than having to constantly transfer between different tools. That's really interesting. Um, maybe you could tell us a little bit about what's unique about this particular production, this film. Okay, it, it, one thing that made it fairly unique was the level of collaboration with the, the filmmakers, with the director. I mean, we were involved with him from, from day one, from the planning all the way through to the end. Did you feel that he really got close to not only your crew and, uh, it, you know, he, he's a director and then having the tools there, yeah. how did that work for you guys in terms of collaboration? Well, Alfonso had his office actually on, on one of our floors with, with the animators, so he'd actually come out and sit with the animators whilst they were animating in Maya and give them direct, you know, actually direct straight into, into Maya with the animators. Well, that's very interesting and make sure that you do watch the presentation because it's it's got a, it takes you right from the previs all the way through through to the post production. What do you think was the most challenging thing that you faced when you were working on it? Oh, the most challenging. That, that's tricky. I mean, there the, were the three main challenges. Obviously, the the exceptionally long takes that Alfonso loves to do, but that combined with it being zero gra gravity is what really made it the hardest. I think. Yeah, to solve that problem. Of yeah, because th there was no up. The camera could go go wherever it needed to go. There was no up. The camera could turn, it could spin around the actors, the actors could spin around it. It was, it was quite a challenge. Wow. Well, thank you very much, Stuart, for having some time with us here and taking time with Area TV. And be sure, again, to watch his presentation on Area and check out the other great presentations that we have going on at NAB this year.